Hello and you are very welcome back to DaVinci Resolve A to Z, your one stop for all things DaVinci Resolve. And in today's episode, we introduce you to the key differences between Rec 709, Rec 2020 and Rec 2100. If you find this content helpful, please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. The first thing you need to know about a digital video signal is that it is made up of two main parts, the color space and the transfer function, which is more commonly referred to as the gamma. Often for a whole host of reasons, we capture a color space and a gamma that is different to our delivery color space and gamma. And that's where color correction and color grading comes in. For example, this video was shot with a color space of S Gamut 3 Cine and a gamma of S Log 3, but is delivered to Rec 709. The two other main attributes that make up a digital video signal are the temporal and spatial resolution, which are just technical ways of saying frame rate and pixel resolution. So for example, this video is 23.976 frames per second and is 3840 by 2160. Rec 709, 2020 and 2100 are recommendations from the ITUR or the International Telecommunication Union Radio Communications Sector. Their full names are ITUR Recommendations BT.709, 2020 and 2100, but are commonly referred to as Rec. or BT. followed by their number. The short answer to what each one is, is that Rec 709 is recommendations for HD delivery, Rec 2020 is recommendations for UHD delivery, and Rec 2100 is recommendations for HDR delivery. Each recommendation has definitions for color space, gamma, temporal resolution, spatial resolution, and bit depth. I will now paraphrase these recommendations, but there are some other in-depth nitty gritty details that we won't cover, such as definitions for progressive versus interlaced scans, or a black and white point for a 10-bit versus a 12-bit signal. If you want to check out the full specs, I have links to the three Wikipedia pages in the description below. Rec 709 has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. It can be up to 50 frames per second and uses the Rec 709 color space. For gamma, Rec 709 is scene referred, but for displaying, it is common practice to use a gamma of 2.4. Rec 709 can have a bit depth of 8 or 10 bits. Rec 2020 defines two resolutions. 3840 by 2160 and 7680 by 4320 with square pixels giving an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. It has a maximum frame rate of 120 frames per second and uses the larger Rec 2020 color space. Rec 2020's gamma is the same situation as Rec 709 so common practice is gamma 2.4. Rec 2020 defines two bit depths of 10 and 12 bits. Rec 2100 defines three resolutions, 1920 by 1080, 3840 by 2160 and 7680 by 4320, with square pixels giving an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. It also supports frame rates of up to 120 frames per second and defines two bit depths of 10 or 12 bits. Where Rec 2100 differs is its definition of two HDR transfer functions, the PQ curve and hybrid log gamma, or HLG. As always, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Did I miss something that should have been covered in this tutorial? Leave a comment below so I know to cover it in a future episode. My name is Lee Dalton, this is DaVinci Resolve A to Z. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.